If Russia succeeds in toppling the government of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, it would be a major setback to Turkish drone programs, as well as other military aerospace projects. Ankara and Kyiv had grand plans to expand cooperation to build drones together. Turkey sold Ukraine at least 20 Bayraktar TB2 armed drones in recent years, which Ukraine seems to be using effectively against Russian forces in the current war. In 2021, Ukraine announced that it was building a drone factory for co-producing TB2s with Turkey. Ukraine is also supplying Turkey with the engines for successor models to the TB2 and an attack helicopter under development, and there have been reports that their defense cooperation could go deeper. Then came Russia's February 24 invasion of Ukraine. Russia is seeking to replace the Zelensky government that Turkey has been doing all the arms business with and replace it with the Russian client regime, Nicholas Harris, Deputy Director of Human Security Unit at New Lines Institute for Strategy and Polling. Beyond this, there were reports that Turkey could work with the Ukrainian turbofan producers for engines for the TFX and use projects. The Thai TFX is Turkey's fifth-generation stealth fighter project and the Bayraktar Muse, which stands for Combat Unmanned Aircraft System, is a planned jet-powered B. Turkey could turn elsewhere, perhaps to Rolls-Royce or U. S. firms, but that is a choice folks in Ankara have to make. James Rogers, assistant professor in war studies at SDU in Denmark, predicts that any Russian destruction or takeover of the Ukrainian defense industry will impact Turkey's drone P. Secondly, it will slow the development of the advanced Turkish Bayraktar Mus, which were set to be powered by the Ukrainian Ivshenko Progress AI-322F turbofan engine. This will likely degrade Turkey's planned drone exports and slow the bolstering of its own arsenal.